but it needs to be strong in there. Well, there's four changes from the weekend. Harry Winks, as we've been told, has come into midfield. Also, Victor Wanyama. So it's very, very different looking midfield. That, that's the key to it. Yeah. How well they're going to do them too, especially, you know, obviously without the ball because Barcelona, but with the ball, are they they're capable of keeping possession for Spurs? And Lionel Messi comes back in. I mean, not play the week. We see, I, I, I really want to see the... Messi shrugs off a couple of challenges and puts Jordi Alba in. And Loris is committed. And it's an easy goal, really, for Coutinho by his standards. There was plenty to aim at. And he fired Barcelona into a lead in the second minute. And Loris's return is already a poor one. Well, let's pick out some of the good things. What a pass it was from Messi to start with. But there's no reason why Lloris has to come for that. Here's the pass when it comes to Lionel Messi here. He's got a runner going down the outside. Just chops the ball. He plays it inside. Trip. He's onside. Jordi Alba, Lloris caught in no man's land. He's still got a bit of work. There's three players in front of him. He hits the target brilliantly, Coutinho. Lloris just has to stay in goal. What a good finish it actually was from the former Liverpool man. There's Lucas Moura, he's going to get there first two. Chop it back. Mello who is arriving. That's a much better run and pass. Lucas Moura trying to run in behind the fullback. Just times it perfectly here, stays on side. Some PK is keeping everybody on side. Taken by Messi. Position, leaving Harry Kane to come onto it. Number 10 in the 10 role for a moment, and it allowed him to face the goal and fire away at the goal. This just bounces in front of to Stegen. It's a nice height for him right in front of him. Jordi Alba. Coutinho. Still Coutinho. It didn't go out. Rakitic following up with a wonderful strike. Well, in the end, they did it the hard way when it looked as though there was an easier route to goal. Loris beaten again. And Barcelona's 300th European Cup game is turning out to be a pretty successful one, certainly in the opening half hour. What a pass again here from Lionel Messi. Just bends it in behind Sanchez. I thought he was going to chest it down for himself, Suarez, but he just sets up Coutinho, who does really well just to get it back in play, having missed the first volley. And what a strike that is from Rakitic. Perfect technique, he gets his standing leg off the ground. Messi, seen the pass again, executed the pass again. Luis Suarez. Well, Sanchez can moan about Davis not getting tight enough to, to Messi, but... Luis Suarez just runs in behind. Call back Trippier. He's got to hit his hand. It's a beautiful finish by Son, but and ball given against Trippier, probably rightly so. Barcelona come at Tottenham again. Shoot from kind of Aura still going. Son's waiting in the middle, and the uh, Testegen made the save. It was Lamella who played it across. It got deflected goalwards. And Testegen had his most difficult moment of the night and came through it unscathed. And you see what Tottenham are trying to do. Harry Kane's playing that little bit deeper. Son is playing further forward. Took a big deflection as well. Testegen's going for the cross. Tony Alba. As he dropped it for Suarez. <sighs> Only a millimetre away from being perfection then. Well, his movement was far too good for Sanchez. Watch his movement again. He starts to run across the front of Sanchez, then gets in behind him. The pass is almost... Messi, he's going to get one for himself. Messi again. Putting it on the money, Jordi Alba. Suarez, corner. There we saw the combination again. Messi with time on the ball. Jordi Alba making that overlapping run. Sanchez, Suarez with him, but he might go all the way here and hits the post. Well, that would have been the game you felt if it uh, had gone in. 
Well, it's almost the perfect finish. Doesn't try and hit it too hard, just rolls it. What he thought was into the corner. Good run from Sw Messi. And Maurice will get there in front of Jordi Alba this time. But that's what you're talking about, the risk and reward, aren't you? Mm. It's a, or risk and punishment. Because they're caught by Messi's break again. And this is the... Uh, the value of going for it with Kane, who set himself for a shot and scores splendidly, typically. And Tottenham are back in business. Spurs 1, Barcelona 2 in the seventh minute of the second half. Messi had rattled the post twice at the other end. Kane finds the back of the net. Well, that's more like it from Harry Kane. He's been off form, I think, for most of this game. I thought he'd missed the opportunity on his left foot, but watch how he just drags it back. On to his right, good play down that far side. Lamella doing really well, linking up with Lucas Moura. Then the pass, Semedo. Messi. Here comes Jordi Alba at pace. And Messi, this time it's inside the post. Third time. Pump. And Spurs celebrations cut off, at least for the time being. It was that combination again. Lionel Messi getting time on the ball to pick the pass out. Jordi Alba making the overlapping run, coming late. Pochettino just switched Song out to that far side. He goes to sleep here. Jordi Alba, not sure he's trying to pick out Messi. He's actually trying to pick out Suarez, but Suarez does brilliantly just to leave it. And there's the finish. Might even go off the post this time. Here's Messi finding a pocket of space again. And sliding it through for Suarez. It's there to be hit and he knew it. He didn't really connect. I think everybody in the ground can see which pass is going to be made. Why can't Alderweireld? Seemingly lost causes. Song. Lamella has got a very good left foot. Eric Lamella. Tottenham fight back again. Longley was caught by Kane's persistence, and Barcelona didn't clear the danger. Sissoko coming on at 2-3. Well, I think he's beaten by a big deflection here. Harry Kane did well to win the ball back. Song tries to play the 1-2. There's the deflection. Oh, they're in trouble now. Can Messi reach it? In the end, Alderweireld. Oh. It's an extraordinary evening here at Wembley. Brilliance and moments that are truly bizarre. Well, he was always going to get there, Loris. Why he tried to slide challenge it? Here's Trippier. He's kept it in. Oh, and the one thing that Sissoko doesn't bring onto the pitch is calmness in front of goal. Maybe needed a touch here. There's the ball over the top. Trippier does well just to keep it in play. Wild. Mm. To the World Cup, That's understandably. Here is the Lucas Moura. Goes for goal. Couldn't quite angle it across to Stegen. Harry Kane again. Try and put the ball in for Llorente, who appreciated the thought. He would be disappointed, Llorente, not with the final one, but this there. Davis had to cross the ball. Llorente had found a bit of space. Davis not crossing it again, but into the feet of Lucas Moura, who's made space, must score! Oh. And it looked as though he was going to plant it across into that far corner, and in fact, the uh, attempt was red. Longley it is who just gets across there. It's been a great game. And Messi can wrap it up here. Wonderful chance. He doesn't fail them. And just as it was when Barcelona played a North London team at the old Wembley, when they met Arsenal here in a Champions League group stage, it finished Arsenal 2, Barcelona 4. It's now Tottenham 2, Barcelona 4. Well, he can't believe his luck, can he? 
He's fought for the ball out on the right wing. He's jogged into the middle of the pitch. Suddenly, Barcelona win it back. Who does it fall to? Lionel Messi in the penalty box. Nobody around him. And then the composure just to send Lloris one way and pass it into the opposite corner. They try and play out from the back. Sizoko loses out to Jordi Alba. Certainly not offside. There's the little leave. It's the second one we've seen from Suarez for two goals. This is the challenge that makes it. Jordi Alba. <laughs>